AI engineering is booming, man. Starting salaries. If you know Python, ML wow. Basics, and a bit of No, no, they want someone who knows LangChain and agents. Find AI. AI. Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture in the Build Large Language Models from Scratch series, which prompted the invention which is at the heart of the attention mechanism. In today's lecture, we are going to... Man, I've been studying this lecture for two hours. I've checked ChatGPT, gone through a dozen blogs, and I still can't find an explanation that actually makes sense for this part of the lecture. I really wish I could just talk to the tutor directly. It would be so much easier to understand if I could get one-on-one -on -one guidance. For the past four years at Vijwara, we have been teaching hundreds of thousands of students and industry professionals. We are so glad that our teaching has now scaled to so many number of people and it was a very happy thing for us. One thing which we realized while teaching is that there are thousands or tens of thousands of comments which people are posting on our YouTube channel asking technical questions or doubts while they were learning. Now imagine you are learning from YouTube. What will you do? You go to the platform, you pause the video when you have a question, you may take a screenshot, drag and drop that screenshot onto ChatGPT or ask some questions directly to ChatGPT. And you may be switching tabs maybe 200 times per day. So it's a very tedious process and we felt like we have to somehow help all these people who are learning by giving them some sort of personalized assistance. And since we are building a lot of AI products, we thought we could build a very nice AI solution which will be a personalized solution for all these learners. So this AI solves one fundamental problem in education. Education is traditionally one size fits all, where one tutor is teaching 40 or 50 students. That's extremely inefficient because students learn at different paces. Some students are slow learners, some students are fast. Viz AI is a personalized tutor for every single student. Imagine you learning AI from our YouTube content or from our videos, but a personalized tutor is teaching you this concept. That would be so radically different than just watching a YouTube video which everyone else is watching. My favorite thing about Viz AI is that it not just learns and adapts its pace according to your learning style and tracks your progress, but it also pauses when you are distracted. It's almost like a teacher who is sitting in a room right next to you. So it feels like a perfect AI companion. In the next few minutes, we will walk you through all the features of Viz AI and I'm very excited to show you all the features. So let's dive right in. Hello, Viz. I'm looking at this visualization, but I must admit I'm quite confused by what it represents. Could you please explain this diagram to me? Hello, Sam. I hear you're feeling confused about the diagram. I can help with that. The diagram is showing the word embedding vectors for the sentence, your journey starts with one step. Each vector represents a word, and their positions in this 3D space reflect their semantic similarity, does that help clarify things? All right, but I want to understand this better. What makes the words journey and start appear so close to each other in this embedding visualization? Sam, you're right to notice that. The words journey and starts are close to each other in the diagram because their embedding vectors are similar. This similarity, measured by the dot product, suggests they have similar meanings or are related in the context of the sentence. Does that make sense? Got it, thanks. <laughs> that makes sense. Hi, Viz. I get the meanings of Q, K, and V, but I'm still confused about what D stands for in this formula. Could you please clarify it? 
Sam, you sound really interested in that formula. In the self-attention formula, D typically refers to the dimension of the query and key vectors. We divide by the square root of D to help make the training more stable. Hi, Viz. Could you provide a brief recap of our last session? Sure, Sam. Last session, we looked at the 3D word embedding diagram for Your Journey Starts With One Step. We discussed why words like journey and starts appear close together, and you showed me the attention head formula using the camera feature, which we broke down briefly. Hello, Viz. I come from a mechanical engineering background, so I understand concepts better when you relate them to machinery or system dynamics. Remember that, okay? Sam... I understand you have a mechanical engineering background. I will be sure to incorporate relevant analogies and concepts from your field when discussing the mechanics and system behavior of LLMs. Is there anything specific you'd like me to focus on? Hi, Viz. Can you explain me what's attention head mechanism in simple terms? Well, Sam, you seem very concentrated focusing on this topic. Think of the attention mechanism like a pulley system. It helps the model focus on the most important parts of the input, kind of like a pulley distributes weight to where it's needed most in a machine. It's all about ensuring the right information gets the right attention. Hello there. I am Ethan. Namaste. I'm Vidya. Hi. I'm Clara. Hi, Viz. Can we talk in Hindi from now on? Namaste, Sam. Bilkul. Ab hum Hindi mein baat kar sakte hain. Kya aap tayar hai? <laughs> 